Database templates let you define and replicate page structures with one click. In this lesson, we'll go over what is a database template, common use cases of templates for teams, and cover how to build one in an existing database. Templates help to break down a process so that you can do work more quickly. They make your life easier, and they create helpful structures so that your team can function better. Here, I'll explain how to create a template within a meeting notes database. But you can choose to use templates for any number of things that you do on a regular basis. For example, repeating tasks or reports. If you regularly need to gather or report on the same kind of information, templates can help streamline the process for you and your collaborators. Bug reports. Every time a team member files a bug, you can ask them to explain a series of things like what event led to the discovery of the bug, their web browser, and anything else to help the engineering team reproduce the issue. Document types, like product requirement documents, project kickoffs, or go-to-market plans. Reduce the mental overhead when embarking on a new project by creating a template with all of the sections you need. Or request systems. Templates can help streamline requests from teams that you work closely with, like this email request document used by Notion's lifecycle team. Let's take a look at the existing meeting notes database for Acme Inc. I can view our templates by clicking on the arrow next to the blue New button in the top right-hand corner. Here, I can see a list of all of the existing database templates, like All Hands and Weekly Sync. Anyone with Can Edit permissions or higher can create templates in a database. Anyone with lower access can view them and use them. So again, you need at least Can Edit permission in order to make a template in a database. Let's go ahead and create a marketing template for the Team Biweekly to start with. We'll call it Marketing Team Biweekly. Then, we'll pre-populate the properties that are consistent week to week. For example, the same group of people attends this meeting each time, so I'll just tag each member of the marketing team here. Then I'll finish up with the Team tag and the Meeting Type tag. This isn't related to any docs that I know of, so we'll go ahead and leave that one blank. At the meeting, you could fill this one out if you end up discussing a specific document or proposal. Let's also give our template an icon. This is a nice way to visually identify meetings that you have on a regular basis. So every time I create a new marketing biweekly meeting from this template, it will auto-populate with the emoji that I choose. At Notion, we use the little popcorn emoji for all of our marketing biweekly meetings. I'll easily be able to skim the database of meeting notes to find what I'm looking for. Now that we've set up the page, let's add content to the body. We're going to use toggles to create sections for our agenda. I'll add a toggle for weekly topics, another for a recruiting update, and another for kudos and appreciation. To improve our visibility into upcoming projects as a team, I'll even add a linked database. Let's put a toggle that says Upcoming Projects, and inside it, we can populate a new linked database view. We'll pull data from the source of the Marketing Projects database and filter to only show marketing projects with a ship date in the next month. By adding the filtered database view to the template, we ensure that every time we have the meeting, we'll be able to have easy visibility into our upcoming roadmap. Plus, teammates won't have to update their projects both in our agenda as well as the project page. We'll be able to view any updates directly in the relevant project page. Another thing that I like to do with templates is to use gray text as instructions to your future self or teammates who will end up completing this section. So in the Recruiting Update section, we can include instructions for please fill this out before our weekly meeting with the role name, status, and any asks from the team. And we can even give an example. So maybe head of PMM, actively interviewing, refer your candidates now. And we'll go ahead and leave that. Once you're done creating the template, it's ready to be used in new pages within the database. It automatically saves, so all you need to do is click out of this template page, and you'll land back on the database. 
Now when I add a new meeting to my Meeting Notes database, I can see that the template I created shows up here. When I click on it, the page is auto-populated with everything that I've already added to the template, including our linked database. And now I can go ahead and start adding this week's topics. Maybe we will talk about Q3 OKRs and the upcoming offsite. The changes I'm making here just apply to this page of the database. They don't apply to the template. As you can see when I go back to the template, those changes haven't saved. The template is still clean and ready to be used each week. That's really it. So as a challenge, go ahead and create a template for one of your recurring meetings as a follow-up to this lesson. <laughs>